So I managed to get the bottom end of the steering box all reassembled. So this is all correct now. But I've noticed something else interesting, which is this column is held into the housing. Uh, there's this this ring here with with a, a um, there's a groove in the housing, and this locates the the steering shaft into the into the aluminium housing. You can sort of see the groove there. So this all fits together. Like that. Now this screw here is meant to locate into the shaft. That's what this hole's for. But on this one, the hole doesn't line up. Um, this can rotate. It's a bit hard. And you can see where there's a, a chamfer on this here to clear the gear. So this is quite wide. If we look at the other one, you can see it's got quite a bit taken out of it. Um, and they call this the um, eccentric sleeve. This is, this is the diagram here. And because it's called eccentric, I, it, it makes me wonder if it's slightly off-center and that's giving you some sort of adjustment here. But it doesn't look like it. I, I can't see that there's any adjustment there. So you can see here where the screw has never locked into the hole. And you can see where people have just tightened it up onto the onto the housing here. I blued it and you can sort of see the little line that I traced which shows how off-center this hole is. So what I'm wondering is can I just rotate this? Which doesn't seem to be affecting the mesh of these gears at all. Uh, and drill a new hole. Drill a new locating hole. Because obviously I can put the housing on and that's a bit tight but that'll come out and I can mark exactly where I need to, to drill that locating hole. So uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, there is an adjustment on this. This is why there's this bearing in here. And there's this adjustment screw on the other side of the housing, which pushes through into there. And that that's to take up any side play on this. Um, it's so well engineered, though. It, it, it's There's no plan at all that I can feel, just by hand, this is. So... What I'm thinking is I can rotate this round as long as this is clearing the gear, mark where the hole is by putting the the cover back on, and then just drilling another locating hole for that, that um, locating set screw. So I'm going to post that to one of the forums and, and see what people think, if that's a, a sensible suggestion or not. But it's just interesting that this, this box, maybe it's been... Um, mixed around in the past or, or replaced or something. Uh, I've got two of these boxes and I've been very careful to keep all the parts from one box with that box. So I haven't mixed them up at all. So this is definitely how this, this column came to me. So yeah, it's, it's just it's just interesting that this is never never seated. So whether that was from the factory or that's happened in the past, I don't know. I just have to figure out the best way to fix it. I posted a question about the steering box to the Riley Register forum. And the answer I got back there is that this eccentric collar is for adjusting the mesh um, between this worm gear and the, the main gear here. So what you're supposed to do is, is adjust all of this to get the meshing correct and then you drill through the hole where the locating set screw goes to lock it into place. So I'm going to do that on this one. I, I've set that up temporarily by bolting the casing back together and just playing with it with the obviously the steering wheel attached and the drop arm so I can look at how much play there is in there and adjusting the column definitely makes a difference. Before I do that though, it's worth pointing out that the the main gear here can be put in in any position. So what I'm going to do is, if you look carefully at the teeth on this, uh, if it'll focus, you should be able to see where this has been worn out, where the gears have been meshing in the past. So 
I'm not sure how much of this will come out on the film, but some of the teeth here are shiny where they've been worn in the past and you can see where the, the gears have been meshing. Now, of course, in, in actual practice, the, the entire rotation of the gear isn't used. So what I'll do before I set this up is I will rotate this gear wheel so that an unworn part of the gear is meshing with the worm. And that should give me the, the best fit up of these parts. Once I've done that, I will bolt the housing back together and um, try to adjust the meshing to get rid of the backlash as best I can. So here you can see the adjustment for the side-to-side -side motion of this, this main gear. So with the casing bolted back together and this adjusting screw backed off, you probably see there is some end-to-end -end motion of the, the shaft there. So what you'd have to do is tighten this up and that pushes against the ball that's in the end of the shaft on the gear here and that gets rid of that, that in and out motion. So with that out of the way, I should be able to adjust the, um, the rotation of the shaft there to change the meshing based on that eccentric. And you can see at the moment there is a little bit of movement there, so it's not meshed correctly. So. There's a bit of motion. If, if I grab this and grab the steering wheel at the same time, um, I can move one without the other moving, which means the, the meshing here isn't correct. So what I need to do is rotate this shaft to adjust that to get rid of this, this play here, but not make it so tight that it binds up and it's hard to actually turn. Um, it takes a little bit of backwards and forwards because to rotate this you need to loosen off all these bolts. I don't have all the bolts on at the moment, I've only got three of them to hold the casing closed. But I have to loosen those a bit, rotate this a little bit, tighten it all back up, retest it. Um, when I get to where I think the position is correct, I'm going to put in all of the bolts to, to bolt the two casing halves back together. Just check that that's all okay and then because I've blued up the eccentric collar, I can then score through this hole and see exactly where I need to drill the, the hole for the locating bolt. I have this adjusted now and the hole drilled to lock the column in place now that the adjustment is all correct. And it took quite a lot of fiddling around, um, just lots of tightening it up checking it, finding it wasn't quite right, then loosening it, adjusting it a little bit, and then tightening it all up again. Um, it took me a little while to realize that there's actually a hole here in the shaft, and you can use a, um, a pin spanner like that to, to more easily rotate this. Um, so you could do, keep all this fairly tight and then use this just to, just to tweak the position of that. Um, so I spent ages doing that and now have it pretty nice where there's no play in this at all, backwards and forwards, but it's fairly easy to to move it with the steering wheel. I mean, that's, that's pretty light. Um, it's all dry at the moment, so that's why it sounds a bit grindy. I need to figure out what you put in the steering box and I'm probably going to use something like this Penright steering box lube. Um, one thing I don't quite understand is at the back here, which is where the the control shafts come through, there's no sort of seal or anything there. So I don't know what stops any grease from, from just coming out of there. Um, I'll have to have a look at that. I'm not sure if there's meant to be some sort of felt or some sort of seal that goes in there. Um, we can see if we... Push the column through. So 
So these controls on the wheel are for the, the advance on the magneto and for a hand throttle. And you can see how the, the shafts poke through here. I am going to have to shorten these, but I don't need to do that just yet. So just around the edge of where those shafts come through. Um, I don't know what, what, what will seal there, so that's something else I need to look at. But I'm pretty pleased with how that's come out. I think that should work well. One quick additional thing I should mention is I also need to work out what I'm going to do with the, the steering wheel. Um, you can see here the rim has suffered a little bit. It's, it's got a little bit thin in places where it's, it's rusted through. Um, it's not in any danger of coming apart, but I'm wondering the best way to, to tackle that. And I could weld that up and grind it back, um, but I'm also wondering if it's worth filling the inside of the rim with something, uh, or at least coating the inside of it with something, maybe epoxy or something like that. And then probably what I'll end up doing is repairing the, the thin spots and then this will all get wrapped in string probably.